let's take a look at open and closed shapes. They asked us, is the shape open or closed? Okay, and we have a triangle. Well, we have to think about that vocabulary for a minute. When you have an open shape, it's made up of line segments, but they do not connect. There's at least one spot where they're not connected to anything. So for an example of an open shape, maybe I would have something like this, right? Because notice there's a space here, leaving it open so it's not connected. In a closed shape, you don't have any of those openings. All of your, your whole shape is enclosed where those segments all meet. So for example, if you look at the triangle we have here, there's no openings, right? Our line segments meet at this point at, at the three vertices or points of our triangle. So this would be a closed figure. Is this shape open or closed? Well, notice I don't have any openings. All of my line segments meet up at these vertices or edges, right? Closing my shape in. So we would call this a closed shape. Okay, again, I don't have any open spaces, right? All my line segments connect. So this is closed. If I look at this shape, all of my line segments connect again, right? So it's enclosed, all those line segments meet up. Okay, I can see again, I don't have any open spaces. All my line segments meet up to enclose my figure, so closed. Okay, now this would be an open shape because you can see the open space here where these two segments are not connected. This would also be an open shape. You see the big space here, or opening, right? That's why it's called an open space, where these segments are not connected. This would be an open shape, right? We have this big space opening right here where the segments aren't connected. Another open shape, right? Right here, we have a big space. And this one is also open, a big space where our segments are not connected. 